Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, the Russian Woodpecker, aka Duga 3. But this is not what I'm here for. <laughs> the watch guard of the tower said that the wild horses were seen nearby not too long ago, so after waving down to my friends from this dodgy, very shaky old tower, I decide to uh, press on and actually look for the wild horses. Scanning the horizon, but I can't see them yet. However, our guide knows the direction of them. So let's see if we can find them. And yes, there they are. In quite a distance and behind a hill. But they haven't yet spotted us. Wild horse. And another one, and yet another one joining in. Beautiful animals. And yes, I do have quite severe hay fever, so I was sniffing and coughing all the time, trying to suppress it in order not to scare the horses away, but it was kind of a torture, but it was totally worth it. So we were pressing on and on and still on. As our guide says, that it's okay, even if the horse has spotted us, as you can clearly see, they are okay and we can slowly move on even closer. Camouflage helps, but at this point we are quite visible to the horses. There they are on the plane. You can see them quite well. And they can see us. But luckily they are curious and not that afraid of us. They even come towards us, like in this case. And then they stop again to take a good look at us. Fascinating, totally fascinating. The Chevalsky horses, which you can see here, are an endangered subspecies of the wild horse. They have been artificially introduced into the zone back in 1998. But as they don't seem to be afraid, I decide to take my chances and move up on the hill in full visibility to be able to take a good video of them. After a couple of the horses that were to be introduced into the zone from a wildlife reserve died due to stress, still over 20 of them were introduced into the zone and uh, lived healthily and had healthy offspring. So the population was rising to about 65 of these horses, but is now declining again. Still, studies did not show any radiation-related illnesses, but it's more like wolves. There's a growing population of wolves in the Chernobyl wild zone that hunt these horses, as well as poor Ukrainians, with the zone being easier and easier to access, illegally of course, but they go in there, they hunt the horses, they kill the horses, because they don't have anything to eat from. So you can find uh, lots of these horse bones scattered all around the zone. I will show that in a later video as well. So yeah, it's kind of fascinating to see that these mammals manage to live healthily, to have healthy offspring in the radiation zone, and now are threatened by a growing population of wolves, and especially by humans, once again, the usual. But now I'll let you watch the last minute and conclude the narration. Enjoy the Chevalsky wild horses of the Chernobyl exclusion zone.
Finally, the horses decide that they have seen enough of us, and they'll go their own ways again. <laughs>